Okay, this project here is a teardown of, a, of an HP notebook, 15 inch. Uh, doesn't look like it has any special name, just HP notebook. Model is 15 dash Bravo Alpha 085 November Romeo. And this one is just getting a tear down and it's gonna be parted out. So first thing we do is take off the battery and set that aside. And got three screws there, three there, two here, and then a couple in back where the battery was. And this screw here holds in the disk drive, <clears throat> so that one needs to come all the way out before you can take this apart. And let's try and get these other screws out of here. want to take this plastic pry tool and you want to pry the bottom piece away from the keyboard just like this a uh, guitar pick works for this sometimes I guess credit cards or IDs might but they're a bit more flexible so it's best just to have a pry tool or a guitar pick. too far on it and cause breaks in the plastic just enough where the plastic comes up and then if you reach a point where you can't go any further just flip it over and continue prying we want to pull this out of here Seems as though it's a little tight right here, so we want to pull these tabs off. They're just rubber pieces that are glued on there. And it looks like there's another couple of screws back there as well. So we just pull those out. And then it should come all the way off. Alright. 
there we have all the internal components. First thing to start with is the hard drive. So we got a screw here that's got to come out and a screw here. It's just got this plug on there. You just gently pull that out and then the hard drive breaks free. And then we want to pull that piece out completely. So you just pull that black tab up and the kibble comes loose. The rim is removed by pulling these two metal pieces out and it pops up like that and it just pops right out. And then this right here is the uh, connector board for the for the disk drive. And it just has this one screw right here. And then it po pops free from the rest of the housing. And you want to pull this cable out. And that just happens by pulling up that black tab and pulling up the cable. And then this over here is the uh, media card reader and, and USB slot. You want to pull this cable free by pulling that tab up. And we can actually pull it completely free. You just want to pull the glue off of there. And then it just appears to have one screw there as well. And so... That comes with the cable and everything. It looks like that cable is soldered on on that end. Okay. Next we have the speakers. It looks like they're just on there with the little rubber grommets. And that just pulls straight out from its outlet on the logic board. And we just pull this wire along the bottom here and you just got to move it out from underneath these plastic clips over to the other speaker that just sits on there All right. and we want to pull this cable out to remove the logic board This cable here is going to be the video cable. And it's got a piece of tape on here that secures it in place. So you just want to pull that up and you pull the, uh, the cable straight towards the fan to get it out of there. And sometimes they're a little more difficult to remove. Uh, you want to make sure you're gentle while you're pulling because you don't want to break any of the little wires in there. Alright, that pops free. And this right here is the wire that goes to the CPU fan. I just want to pull that out. And then that pulls straight away from, from the connector towards the fan. And sometimes, sometimes they can be a little bit difficult, so it helps to have a small tool to kind of pry it out. Uh, these plastic pieces can break easily, so be careful in doing that. the Wi-Fi card and 
you just pull out that screw, disconnect the antenna, and it pulls out. And one last little hidden cable right here. That one is a little bit more difficult to pull, or at least to reach anyway. Now looking around the logic board, we have a screw here, right here, 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 and here. So we want to pull all those out and we can get the logic board out. The heat sink here isn't part of the fan, so we pull that out separately. And there's one cable in here we forgot, and that's the keyboard cable. And you just pull that black plastic piece up, and the cable comes free. So there we have the logic board, and the CPU is still on there. fan comes out just by removing these three screws here. Oh. Doesn't look like there's three. Maybe one or two. Yeah, two. So the second one is just hidden under the under the cables right there. Free. Then we can get those wires out there. And then if you want to remove the uh, controller board for the trackpad that is right here, it, this comes off right like this. Cable free from the trackpad. Now the trackpad appears to be a permanent attachment. All the plastic is melted together in these locations. So that's something that you're not going to be removing. Now, the uh, display will come off just by removing these screws on the hinges. There's one here and here. And if you're going to replace the uh, power outlet, it sits right underneath this hinge. So you gotta pull the hinge open and that the little moving around pulling back that clip comes free. So there's also another little logic board here. And we want to pull the cable from this end. And that comes free. That appears to be the power button. So this side has three screws. There's one larger one here. and then the other smaller two. And then 
just like the other one, the hinge has to be kind of pulled open, and it's pretty, pretty uh, hard to move. So you want to be careful you don't smash your screen in moving that. So there's the keyboard completely free. It doesn't look like you can get it out of there. All these are kind of melted. Kind of looks like plastic riveting. So that doesn't look like that can be removed. If you have, if you want to replace the keyboard, you've got to replace this whole piece unless you know how to do all of this. And that can get tricky. So. Thank you for watching. Leave any uh, comments in the comment section, uh, any questions. And of course, I'll provide links to buy one of these and uh, the various parts that we've pulled out. Thank you for watching.